Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another rebuild. In this one, we're doing our first ever Madden 19 rebuild. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'll, I got to be honest with you guys. Uh, I really like football. I'm a big NFL fan. Uh, I try to watch every game on Sundays, but I'm not really into Madden that much. I haven't had the game since probably 2012, so I just got back into it. We are doing the San Francisco 49ers in this one, and I'm just going to do my best to try to get some good pieces around Jimmy Garoppolo, who I really like. I'm not sure why he's in 83. I guess that's a fair rating, but I do think he's going to go up in rating. Uh, he's going to be a very solid quarterback for them. He's already 26, though, but they did sign Richard Sherman. I like that piece. I'm not sure how the regression system works in Madden, but hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, we are going to sign some free agents like Trey Boston, uh, a couple other guys. We do need some defensive backs, so we're also not looking too hot on the offensive line. Uh, we probably need to upgrade there, but we're going to sign Kenny Vaccaro. He'll be a nice trade piece, I think. Not sure how the trading works either. I do know that it is a bit more um, not straightforward than 2K. I know 2K, it takes a lot to trade for players, but we are going to make this trade for a second round pick, trading two guys that we don't really need in Garrett Selleck and Coyle. So we do get a pick and we get some value for these two guys. We're also going to get Bontez Burfick from the Bengals. Very nice uh, linebacker, right outside linebacker for Pierre Garcon, who is going to start to regress, and Kenny Vaccaro. And we have a really good fullback in, uh, I don't know what how to say his name, so I want to get a pick and a really solid uh, fullback as well from the Ravens. Get some value for this guy. They we're not really going to use him. So we're only going to make those couple of trades for this season and here's the rotation. Not really much has changed from the trades, but I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. As I said, I don't know how Madden works, but hey, if we don't, then we have a really good pick. It works out either way. Let's see what happens. So season one is a wrap and let's see how we did. We're going to be pretty low on this. We actually went 7-9, and nine, which is not too bad. Um, I kind of expected around that kind of uh, record, maybe 8-8, eight and eight, but we did not make the playoffs, of course, so we'll have a pretty good pick in the draft as long as we still have our picks, which we should. I'm pretty sure we didn't trade away our picks, but Jimmy Garoppolo threw for 3,500 yards, 15 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 56% accuracy, not bad not too good at all uh, i'm not sure why that was maybe the offensive line had something to do with that but we'll try to upgrade that as we go marquis goodwin had a pretty good season dante pettis as a rookie also a pretty good season uh, i'm not sure also how the uh, upgrading players thing works uh, that's totally new to me i put that on uh, auto so i'm not sure um if that's bad you guys probably know more than me how madden works so be, feel free to leave a comment down below and give me any tips, tricks, criticize my rebuilds um, on Madden, even 2K because obviously I'm here to produce better content every time. So make sure to just leave some tips and tricks if you know any or um, yeah, just if you know how to win on Madden, um, what I need to do. But here are the awards if you want to guys, if you guys want to check them out, maybe uh, pause it and look through. But I'm not really too concerned with anything. I don't think I saw any Niners. So it's not going to be too bad. But we are in the NFL draft. And I'm thinking about taking this left outside linebacker. He is the best prospect available, I think. So he is a 79 overall with quick uh, development. So that's pretty good for a first round pick. And we also need some more depth at wide receiver. So I'm going to try to pick up this guy, Roy Hammond. Looks pretty good. 76 overall, normal development. Not too good for a second rounder, but we'll take it. As I said, we also need defensive backs. And this cornerback looks pretty solid. 
Rashad Ramsey, 75 overall, normal development, nothing too special. Uh, I'm hoping we find a hidden gem in here, maybe a defensive tackle, which we really need. So there's not that many defensive players that are left that are really that good. So I'm going to take this guy, Le'Veon Broussard, 75 overall. Pretty much the same as everyone else. Nothing too special, just adding depth to the roster. And here in the third round, we are going to take this guy, Xavier Elliott, 74 overall. Defensive tackle. It's better than what we have, so I'll take it. 74, better than 70. And this draft seems to be loaded with wide receivers, so we're going to take another one. 74 overall. Probably trade this guy or one of our other wide receivers because we have a lot of them now. So I just realized this. I skipped over free agency last season. I didn't realize that it wasn't in the offseason. Well, it was in the offseason, but I didn't realize that I skipped over it. So I'll make sure to make some free agency signings if I can um, next season. Or whenever I can but we are gonna sign these free agents these are not the best free agents obviously I skipped over that but we can still get some pretty good pieces that we can trade here in this uh, free agency like I said the trading is very different from 2k I think this is a scam for the Buccaneers but we're getting Vita Vea I think that's how you say it um, for these two guys in a seventh round pick very good value and Joe Staley, we sadly have to trade away. He's going to start regressing badly. We need some guards, so we're getting a left guard and a right guard. Some pretty young uh, guys, so we, we have to give up a third and a second round pick. Not too bad. And this is just a small trade because our left tackle is pretty much garbage at this point. I think he's like a 68 overall, so we need a left tackle. We have too many right ends, so... So here's the rotation for the second season. Uh, we still have Richard Sherman. He's probably going to start regressing badly as well. Uh, once they get into their 30s, I realize that Madden, um, even 2K, their regression's pretty bad. But more on Madden, so we might have to trade him. So checking out the standings here, it looks like we went 5-11, and 11, last in the division. Not very good. Actually, very terrible. But as I said, I don't, I'm not sure how Madden works. Um, obviously, I'll start getting better after each rebuild. And I might even do some realistic rebuilds, um, like four or five year realistic rebuilds. Uh, I think that'd be pretty exciting. Um, at least uh, progressing players. But Jimmy Garoppolo, another disappointing season. Um, almost through as many interceptions as touchdowns Jack McKinnon pretty good receiving and uh, rushing but our team's very solid especially our defense so they say defense wins games but I'm gonna try to upgrade the offense as well our wide receivers are getting there uh, let's check out the yearly awards MVP was Todd Gurley second was Le'Veon Bell Alex Smith for the Redskins third uh, Le'Veon Bell, offensive player. Vince Williams, defensive player. Jordan Hicks for the NFC. Offensive rookie of the year, DJ Young. I don't know who that is, but best quarterback, Alex Smith. So we actually have a lot of cap room to work with, and I'm going to offer Kevin Byard um, a nice contract, actually. So I'm not sure if he's going to sign with us, but he should. Yeah, we are, we are his best offer. And we're also going to go after Amari Cooper, Snatcha Chain. Actually, no, that's Michael Crabtree. My bad, I got him confused, but still a very good wide receiver. Best offer. And I just checked Richard Sherman is down to an 84 overall, so we have to offer Jalen Mills a deal, and we're going to have to trade Richard Sherman, sadly. So this trade's pretty good. Richard Sherman for Tyler Eifert. Straight up. No picks, nothing. Higher overall, I'll take it. We need a tight end. And then we need a left guard. So Will Hernandez, very solid at an 82 overall. Shaq Lawson, Gonzalez, and a draft pick gets that done.
And we have a lot of uh, draft picks that we're not really going to use. So we're going to go after a left tackle, Garrett Bowles from the Broncos. And he'll be a nice piece for us on the offensive line. So in this draft, uh, I accidentally skipped over the fourth pick. And they did take a quarterback who was a 76 overall. So that's my bad. As I said, it's a work in progress, but. So here's what the team is looking like in the third season that we're going to do this. Most likely the final season. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be the final season, but we're looking very solid. We're at an 87 overall team. I'm obviously going to make some more trades to try to upgrade, but our defense is looking actually really solid at a 91 overall. So. Gonna try to upgrade my offense. So Marquise Goodwin and a first round draft pick for Sammy Watkins. Actually a third round draft pick. Um, pretty good value. Three overall is better. And since this is, the, this is the final season, I'm gonna throw all my picks to try to get Landon Collins. And we did land him. So he's a 96 overall free safety. Strong safety actually. So that's a huge addition to our team. And now our defense is looking even more powerful. We're now at an 88 overall team. I'm not sure how that ranks among the, among the league. I'm not sure if that's enough to make the playoffs. But I think it's a very solid team, especially our defense. So let's see what happens. So another disappointing season for the Niners. We went 5-11, not making the playoffs. Worst team in the division. Um, I mean, if I did a realistic rebuild of this, obviously I wouldn't make as many trades and our young players would be progressing and we'd use our draft picks. But Jimmy Garoppolo, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's just not superstar like and it's not going to get the job done. I'm not sure if that's because of other reasons or Jimmy G is just not the guy in Madden. But Sammy Watkins had a pretty good season. Uh, Ruben Foster, who was a stud for us this whole video. Landon Collins had a pretty good season as well. Yeah, we just couldn't get it done. I'm not sure why. Um, again, if you guys know why, then maybe I need to change the coach or change the playbook. Maybe even change the scheme or have more scheme fits. Uh, I'm not sure. You guys can pause the awards if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to scroll through them pretty quickly. And this video will probably be over. Um, we did have a 49er there. I'm not sure for what, but I think it was defensive player of the year. Sorry, Niners fans. I know you guys wanted to see playoffs, maybe a championship, but I'm going to keep getting better every video. So make sure you guys, uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Obviously try to help me out. Um, new to this Madden thing. So this is the team that we built. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know what you guys would have done differently. Let me know if you guys want to see realistic versions of these, which are going to be longer. And also, I'm going to be doing NBA 2K19 and FIFA 19 videos once those come out. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Go check out my other videos. And thanks. Never get to me. Bring out the brains truck. I'm young, flying, ice up. Honey, yard dash. I had to run my price up. Bust your life up.